water. Earth. Fire. Air. Yo, what's up everybody? It is your man Robo back for another video. So in this video, I will be showcasing to you every single element in Avatar A Bender's Will. Now in this game, it's actually not easy to progress, but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with showing you the moves. So let's go ahead and start off with the moves. These are in no particular order because I don't even remember the first move that I got, to be honest. Maybe it was like Water Pole or Water Strike. I don't remember which one was my first one. It definitely wasn't Ice Trap or Water Gimbal or Ice Slide or Water Spear or Water Slam. I know that much. But let's go ahead and show you the moves as it goes into here. And when it comes to these moves, or everything mainly except for like fire, I'll tell you the best case scenario to use them, the combos that I use as well. So let's go ahead and start off with water. The first move I have in my move set is the ice trap. This move, basically, if you hit somebody with it, you're going to trap them with ice. Let's go ahead and get some water by pressing C. And then if you hit somebody with it, they do get trapped. However, this is not even a real NPC. This is just somebody you can talk to. You can't actually fight them. Only players can be fought. Now the next move is the Water Strike move. Now when it comes to any one of these moves, this might actually be the first move. When it comes to these moves, on the Water move set, you can move them around as you like or as you please. But you have to be careful because if I just aim forward like this, it's gonna like go down a little bit. But if I were to aim a little bit higher, it's gonna go completely straight like I want it to. Now also when you fire it, you can actually control where it goes for a little bit and then it just you know goes one direction. So be careful of using things like water pole, water strike, water whip, even water kick. And I don't know about water spear, actually water pole actually might not be like that. Now water gimbal, I'll show maybe in the future where all NPC locations are if you guys really want that. So if you want me to show you where every single trainer NPC is, leave like a like. If we get like 500 likes, I'll do it. Now water gimbal is basically, this, this move is very nice. Very nice. It basically blocks all ranged attacks. So if a fire, firebender fired a fireball at you, it blocks it. If an earthbender fired an earth like boulder, I think, I think it blocks it as well. I'm not too sure. I, I forgot. I've never really used it on an earthbender. But firebenders, it does block. Then water pull is the next move. When it comes to this move, it kind of just fires forward, I believe. And then it pulls somebody to you. And once the cooldown's over, I'll show you again because it's kind of not visible as much as the other moves. So once you have water pull, you just go ahead and click it and it drags them back to you. It's very small, but it, I think for the most part, it just goes forward or it goes like where your mouse is. But... I would be careful with using this move. It's nice. Very nice. And all, but it's only useful if you have like the swords or like the hammers in this game. And hammers and swords are only good if you're able to like stun your enemies, to be honest. But they're good if you're comboing them with someone else. Now the next move is the water whip. This move is really nice. Very nice. If you've seen the series, Katara and Aang like learn this within the first few episodes of the series. It's a pretty decent move in terms of the waterbenders. I've used it a few times in battle myself. Then Ice Slide is my favorite waterbender move. I used to have so much chi that I could do this for a while. I still have a lot of chi, but I got gripped by some exploiters, so I lost that chi. But Ice Slide is a really good travel move for our waterbenders. I'd say it's one of the best travel moves in the game, arguably. Of course, second to like the airbenders and maybe the firebenders, but I think it's better than the earthbenders one. Now, Water Kick is the next move. This move is actually pretty nice. Like it, The attack, I believe it might be the same speed as the Water Whip, but it really is nice to use the Water Kick because no one really expects it. Everyone expects you to use like Water Whip and Water Strike. Water Kick is pretty good in my opinion. Now the next move is the Water Spear. This move, I believe it just fires a really long Water Ball or Water Move and you can kind of control it, but it's not really easy to, to control. So I don't really use Water Spear a lot, but maybe it's better than the normal Water Moves. I'm not too sure. Then the last move is the Water Slam. I like this move personally. It basically slams a lot of water down and it does a decent amount of damage to enemies and also knocks them back a little bit so they get knocked away from you. So if you're taking a lot of damage, you can just use that move. And then I think they get like stunned on the like on the floor. So then after I use like water slam sometimes, I use my ice trap and I trap them. Then once I've trapped them, I take my dual hook blades and I start hitting them with the combos. Then I back away and then sometimes I water slam again or I like water spear, or water whip or something like that. Anything that does a lot of damage. That's what I basically do with the water move set. There really isn't much to the move set. Basically, when you're making your move set for water, you need a trap move like the water or the ice trap. You need something to AOE knock back, like the Water Slam. And then after that, you just need moves that can do damage while they're frozen or knocked back. So me personally, I use hook blades or like the swords and stuff like that. You could use, you know, your punches, but I wouldn't recommend that either unless you're an Earthbender. 
Uh, you can also use like Water Strike and stuff like that too. Basically like the ranged moves, if you're up close with them, it's almost always gonna hit them. But be careful because sometimes when they're ice trapped, they don't take damage. So let's go ahead and actually move on to the next element. Now, of course, the second element I'm going to show you is Earth. If you've seen this series, it goes water, earth, fire, air, so you can kind of tell what's going to go next and after that. But basically, Earth is the most, I would say, strong and defensive build you can go for. Because you're slower, you also, I think this armor, it slows you down, but also increases your HP, so that's nice. But let's go ahead and start off with the moveset. There is only nine moves for Earth, but it's nine moves that are actually pretty useful if you're really good at fighting in this game. So let's go ahead and start with the earth wall. This is one of the first moves you get. I use this to, you know, climb up like walls and stuff like that, but you can actually use it with the manipulation move to fire one of the boulders. The boulder! And you can just keep spamming it and firing them. And it's really good. It's both defense and offense. The perfect defense and offense if you know what you're doing. Then the earth gauntlet move. This is very good because you don't necessarily need a weapon and it doesn't boost your weapon damage as far as I can tell, but it does boost your combat damage. And I believe combat is actually pretty fast in this game. So earth gauntlet's very useful. I used it as a freshie, like right when I unlocked it and I beat a firebender up to a pulp. Like this is really good, especially if you're fighting like a beginner, you're gonna win almost every single time. As long as you can avoid taking damage and you can, you know, hit your shots, you're gonna be able to defeat them with earth gauntlet and I think boulder toss. Earth Rise is the next move. This is basically another climb move like I told you. I per personally use this with the Earth Wall to just climb up places. And I believe the Earth uh, Rise disappears faster, so you gotta be careful with that, as you can see. And yeah, I was gonna use Earth Rise to do this. Let me see if I can actually do it. I've never used a manipulation on it. I don't think I can, actually. <gasps> oh, I can! Okay, that's really good, actually. Then the next move is Earth Surf. This is, you know, basic. It's like the water one I told you, the ice one. But I believe this one's a little bit worse. I personally like the, the ice one more because it takes less chi for me, but maybe that's because my earth save has less chi than it should, you know? Then earth push is a basic move. You just fire this and it sends the enemy away from you. Very useful if they're like, you know, attacking you and you're trying to get away from them because you're slower as an earthbender if you have higher tier armor. Then earth creation. Basically, you fire a bunch of earth around you and if someone's in the general area of where they appear, they get hit by it. You can use this with earth manipulation. I believe you can actually control where it goes with the earth manipulation. Like if you do this, actually no, just go straight. Okay, that's a good thing to note. Don't use this move too much earth manipulation because it takes a lot of chi. Chi is the stamina bar, by the way. And then the earth creation, this move is really useful if you're just trying to get enemies away from you. If they're just keep chasing you, it's really useful. Now the final move is my favorite move or one of my favorite moves for the earth move set. It is boulder toss. Basically, you just fire a boulder, control where it goes. You can control every single axis. So I can control whether it goes up and down, and boom. See? Very, very good move. Use this with the Earth Gauntlet and the Earth Wall, and you can basically avoid taking damage. Like, if I really wanted to 1v1 somebody, I might even do it. If I wanted to 1v1 somebody, and maybe I'll get a friend in the future, I would, you know, use Boulder Toss, Earth Gauntlet, and Earth Wall. Those are the only moves I actually need. Maybe manipulation, but I don't have enough chi to actually use it and it actually be effective. So those are the three moves you really need. Earth Wall, Earth Gauntlet, and Boulder Toss, and lucky for you, they're one of the first like four or five moves you get. I believe Earth Manipulation might also come with them, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. I might go into the next like tier trainer. I'm not too sure which trainer does which, I forgot already. It took me so long to level up all these accounts, but it took me roughly like a week or so to get every single account up other than my Water Bender account because that one was already up pretty high. But let's go ahead and showcase the next element. Okay, so for the third element, we have fire. This is definitely the most spammable if you have chi. Very useful in my opinion. This guy's probably gonna attack me, so let's get away from him. Let's go ahead and use fire propulsion. We That is one of the moves for fire. Very useful. This dude is right there. I see you. Oh, you're gonna try to chase after me, bro? What you doing, homie? I don't even know what he's doing, to be honest. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and just spam moves real quick and show you what they do. So for the first move, it is Fire Step. This is basically a dash move. Remember, this is in no particular order, but Fire Step is a nice little dash move. I use it basically to steal scraps on the floor before other people. Very useful if you're gonna do that. Then Fire Jab, basically a normal fireball and stuff like that. You can control where it goes. From what I've heard, it's either Fire Jab or Fire Strike that you should spam. I'm not too sure which one it should be. 
Correct me, firebenders, in the comment section. It might be fire jab. Some experienced firebenders said to spam one and never use the other. I don't know which one in particular. Maybe it's fire jab because it takes less chi, significantly less. Actually, fire strike isn't even the one that you should be using because that's just a normal little attack like that. Fire propulsion, like I used earlier, just sends you upwards. That dude's going away. Fire kick is just like the air and the water move. It's a kick attack that just fires it forward, except for fire kick, you can't control where it goes in the direction. So it may not be the best move for you, but fire kick is pretty nice if you have a lot of cheat. Then the fireball, this is what I was talking about. You can control that one just like the fire jab. Fire jab doesn't take that much chi. Fireball takes a lot of chi though, so maybe fireball is not it. Maybe it's fire jab that you have to go with. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. I'm not too sure to be honest. Then the final move, fire actually doesn't have that many moves right now, is the fire jet. Very useful move for traveling, fire propulsion, plus fire jet is very nice. Let me go ahead and see if I can do it real quick. I kind of didn't time that right. Three, two, one. Whee! See? It's very nice, very useful for traveling, especially if you're getting away from enemies or chasing someone down. So if you have a lot of chi, you're going to be very useful in like a chase down battle, especially if you're like a, what's it called, a bounty hunter or something like that, or like one of the people that turn people into the jail cells and stuff like that too. Now, when it comes to the moveset, I have not personally used any of these movesets too much. Fire Jet, I love using. Fireball, I wouldn't really use. Fire Jab, I would use. Fire Step, I would use to travel. Fire Propulsion is pretty nice too, but when it comes to the moveset, maybe Fire Jab and Fire Kick. I've seen people use that a lot. Those are the main two moves I've seen really good Firebenders use. They don't really use any of the other moves, so if you're a Firebender, correct me in the comment section, please. All right, all right, all right, all right. So for the last move set, it is of course air. As you could tell, I was going in order of the series. Now for me personally, I don't like the air move set. I actually don't think it's that good. And you might disagree with me, but for me, whenever I use it, it just never seems to hit. And maybe it does good damage, but for the most part, I don't really like the air move set. Now the first thing I'm gonna show you about airbenders is if you jump in the air, it's a little bit of a higher jump, maybe normal jump, I can't really tell at the moment. But if you jump in the air and you hold space bar, you jump higher as you fall down or you jump slower as you fall down, you can jump higher if you just keep holding space bar. So that's why people don't like airbenders because they're able to avoid basically any attack, but it kind of stays true to the series because Aang dodges a lot of attacks, especially because he is an airbender, not just because he's the avatar. Now, the first move I'm gonna show you is the air kick. Just like the water kick, it's a decent move. I personally like all the kick moves when it comes to fire as well. Earth, for the most part, is doesn't really matter because it's all like ranged moves from what I can tell and defense moves, so it doesn't really matter about that. Next one is my glider. You can purchase this as at the air temple. It's okay, but you have to have a lot of chi to be able to do it for a while, and luckily I have a lot of chi to do it. So, next move is the air uppercut. This basically sends your enemies into the sky so you can kind of avoid taking damage from them. And then I believe they take a little bit of like a knockback thing from it too. So they get a little bit of a stun, which is pretty nice. Then the air push attack, you just fire air. You can't control where it goes. It just goes straight from where you fire it. So if I were to do like this, notice how it just goes straight. Next move is a blast of air, air blast or air strike. I mean, it's basic attack. You can kind of spam it and you know, it's air. So it makes sense why you can spam it. Then the next move is the tornado jump. I love this move. This move basically sends enemies flying away just like the air uppercut. But this time you get up and they like you get you basically get sent up and I believe they get knocked away and sent upwards as well and they also get stunned from what I can tell like ragdolls type of thing. Then air swipe is the next move. It's a basic air move. You've seen this in a lot of Naruto games where you just send like an air like cut type of move. It's like an air scythe type thing. I believe you can control this. I'm not too sure. I believe you can control where you fire it. Oh no, you can't. I forgot. Okay. I didn't realize that, I forgot to be honest. Then Air Scooter, we know this. Aang invented this move, you just, you know, do this. The Avatar, he made that. And for the most part, that is the Airbender moveset. That's actually it for the Airbenders. All right, everybody, I just finished recording the entire video. Hope you all did enjoy it, actually. It was just very fun to record because I thought it would take a while, but it didn't. And I have ideas for how I want to edit it too. But that's pretty much it for the video. If you did enjoy the video, do me a favor, leave a like on the video. Now, when it comes to the movesets for each element, honestly, you don't even have to listen to my advice. Just know that you need moves to basically keep enemies away from you and to stun enemies. And you also need melee weapons or just something to do melee with because this game, it's not gonna be a bender spam game. You know, you need elements because you'll be very useful in a battle if you can not just use your element, but also use weapons. Because some people, your friends and stuff like that, they get hit a lot by your attacks if you're a bender. So you gotta be careful about hitting your friends and stuff like that too. 
So I would honestly recommend investing in a weapon as soon as possible and investing in armor and getting a subclass if you want. I personally don't have one on any of my accounts, but on the Oathbender one, I might get one that helps me with the heavy armor speed and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it for the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave me a like and subscribe. Now I might have missed, you know, some stuff when it comes to the elements. Maybe for one of them, I forgot to say the moveset. But remember what I said, you just need certain things like a knockback move and a stun move and anything to increase your range of your attacks. But that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you all did enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Till then, it's Miniman Roball. I'm signing out now. See you all in the next Avatar video. Take care, everybody.